very fantastic. So well done, mate. And you got the gold as well. Olympic qualification time. Fantastic. Yeah, on top of the world. Can't get any better, really. Um, coming second to Pav. Was, uh, I was just thinking at the time, I didn't really hit me what I'd done. I was just thinking of, oh, I'm saying second out one, which was a bit disappointing, but then it hit me later on that night, like, made me a first Olympic team. Just, like, overjoyed with that, like, missed out four years ago, just hung, hung around, like, kept working, improved, and now I've got, like, two swims on the meet and gold tonight. Obviously, Rocky had a pretty intimidating record on the 200 and 100 fly for his champs. Yeah. What did it take mentally to, to overhaul him then? Uh, I, I believed I could. Uh, I knew, and, like, obviously, knew he's, he's definitely not going to be easy. Like he's obviously a class competitor, and, uh, but I knew knew it was possible. So I just kind of stuck to my game plan and uh, yeah, bit off. The race itself, I mean, there was barely an inch to choose between you for the, the first three lengths, and then you really had to dig deep in that last lap. Yeah. Did you realise how close it was? No. Yeah, I did realise how it was. I could like see Rocky out in peripherals the whole way. Um, uh, the last last 50, I, I, mean, I felt strong like coming off that turn. So I just thought. I'd, uh, kicked hard and, and uh, kept going, and then the last 20 meters, just suddenly, just all the light takes hit me at once. I was feeling really strong, and then suddenly I was dying. And all I could do is just keep clawing forward and hope for the best. And it was a PB this time, uh, a 155.94. Yeah. Yeah. Place at uh, Steve Parry's 155.52. Yeah, and Steve's still up there, so I gotta keep going until I beat Steve's time. I think. <laughs> So you come into this knowing that you secured your Olympic spot, you knew you were going to be competing at London 2012. Did that take the pressure off in any way or did coming second in that give you a little bit of extra hunger? Yeah, I think it was, it was probably both exactly what you say there. Like I didn't like coming second but it was fantastic to qualify, so I wanted to win. Uh, actually Steve Pye's predictions, as you said before, he predicted me three silvers this week, which I didn't even really like, so I wanted to uh, win at least one just to uh, prove him wrong. You say you went home the night for the first event and suddenly realised that's it, you've made the team. Yeah. How does it feel to have made it twice over? Oh uh, yeah, it's brilliant. I was like, signed the Olympic forms the other day and that was, was a great feeling, I'm not going to lie.